Bob Marley One Love was directed by Ronaldo Marcus Green and it stars Kingsley Benadir as Bob Marley as it shows his life, his message of peace that he tried to show through his music and how he tried to connect people all around the world through his music, hopefully bring peace about the, about the world and such, and shows various moments through his life, including some big moments. So this was a movie that I was looking forward to and not looking forward to. The only reason I was kind of looking forward to it was because Ronaldo Marcus Green previously directed King Richard, which I thought was a pretty good movie overall. But I was kind of worried about this movie, too, for a few reasons. One, it was supposed to come out around 2023, like somewhere around November, December, somewhere around time of, like, you know, the awards contenders and such. But it got pushed back to February, I guess, because it was pretty close to Bob Marley's birthday, which I kind of let that slide. But honestly, um, I'm not a big fan of musician biopics, especially these days. I feel like a lot of them are just kind of generic. I feel a lot of them just go beat for beat for, like, what they kind of, like, go through, like, their lives and such and kind of, like, go through the problems and such. And I was just like, I'm so tired of these one in a million talents getting movies that are just like each other. It just kind of feels insulting, honestly. So this movie, honestly, it's not bad. It's just not great either. I think there are some really good moments in this movie, but I think there's some really dull moments in this movie. So let's start off with the things I do like in this movie. First off, the actors do a really good job, particularly Kingsley ben as Bob Marley. At times you do really believe him throughout this movie as Bob Marley. It's like, at times it's like, it's like, I don't see an actor there. I just see Bob Marley. Lashana Lynch also does a really good job as Bob Marley's wife. I thought she was fantastic. I thought she was a good foil to him. And also kind of like their younger counterparts in this movie. It's like, okay, the, you actually do believe that they were the younger versions of these people. Meanwhile, the musical sequences are pretty good as well. You kind of hear like a lot of the big songs that they did, like, you know, I Shot the Sheriff, Exodus, like a lot of the big songs that Bob Marley was known for. They're really well done, even though I kind of have problems with the vocals, which I'll talk about. And I do think that the movie doesn't entirely rely on like how he created his music. It doesn't really rely on like the moments where he was like, okay, this is when I created this song and this is how I created this song. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's a biopic. Of course they have those moments. Like Exodus, there's a big sequence about that, like how they created it. But I think that's like the only one. It doesn't go like Bohemian Rhapsody where it seems like every other instance is when they try to create another song. It just doesn't really focus on that too much and actually does try to focus on like peace and actually tries to focus on Bob Marley's message that he tried to have through his music about like bring peace to the world, bring peace and harmony and there won't be as, as much violence in the world and there won't be any violence in the world. Hopefully we can try to like do as much as we can, like try to like make people happy through our music and such. And it is a nice message and all. And I do think, you know, it's a very important message <laughs> these days. And I do think the movie itself is a little too safe. Let's get into what I don't like about it. It just feels like it just goes like, I don't say, I won't say it goes like beat for beat like other biopics, like, you know, Bohemian Rhapsody, I Want to Dance with Somebody. But honestly, it kind of felt like it was a little too safe. It kind of just didn't really do much to really just like, you know, pop out and stand out. Like, at least with something like, say, King Richard, like performances of the of Will Smith and uh, Ajahnou Ellis, I thought those were fantastic. But here, everything else in this movie, besides the two lead performances, everything kind of just feels a little too safe in terms of, like, what like what they're trying to go for. Nothing really felt like it really stood out. It was just kind of a generic movie, in my opinion. Also, I didn't really care for uh, Marley's vocals that much. Now, let me explain. I think the movie, the movie clearly is, like, there's a contrast between... Uh, Marley singing and Kingsley ben acting in this movie. And it's kind of obvious at times. Like, I looked into it, and it turns out they tried to, like, mix uh, Kingsley ben vocals into Bob Marley's tracks. And honestly, it's kind of hard to tell, because I think they just used Bob Marley's vocals. Which, don't get me wrong, Bob Marley's great and everything, but it's just kind of weird just hearing the vocals of, like, him and just kind of hearing uh, Kingsley, Kingsley ben accent at times. Kind of, like, listening to, like, how it's, like, it just feels like a stark contrast. Like, I can at least believe it. When it's like, you know, he's acting, but I can't really believe it when he's singing, unfortunately. And also, the movie tries to build up this whole like, concert, like this, you know, one love concert that's supposed to be like this big concert that's supposed to be for peace and such. Ironically, we don't even see the concert. We see a bunch of other concerts. We see a bunch of like, you know, musical moments and such. But this concert, that the, that's the title of the movie. And also, the movie is like, the movie's around this concert. And also, it's like they kind of build it up. And at the end, it's like they kind of see them going out to start the concert. But you don't actually see the concert. Like, what? Are you kidding me? It's also weird because this movie is under two hours. And also I feel like it's a little bit longer at times. Like, I feel like the pacing's just a bit off in this movie. Like, there are times where it's like, oh, this movie feels like it's hanging forever. And somehow it's only an hour and something. Like, less than, somewhere between an hour and a half and two hours. But it definitely feels a lot longer than it is. 
So even though Bob Marley One Love has decent performances and decent musical sequences and a good message, and I do feel like there are times where it's like, okay, it's not really focusing on his life, but more about the message. I do think that's effective. I just felt like it never really stood out outside of that. So I felt Marley's vocals kind of distracted from the performance. There's no peace concert. There's a few pacing issues. It's a movie that I feel like if you love Bob Marley, you'll probably love this movie. But then again, I wouldn't say that about the Queen biopic because, like, I was a huge fan of Queen and Bohemian Rhapsody disappointed me. Um, I just feel like a lot of musician biopics these days are just not particularly good. Again, I feel like they're kind of, like, going to get into a rut where they kind of get a movie like, say, Walk Hard, the Dewey Cox story. Or I said this to a friend who also felt medium about this movie. It's like, how was the Weird Al movie one of the better musician biopics in recent memory? Because I feel like that movie was aware of the joke, it was making fun of the joke, and it was actually funny. It was actually really funny and such. Where I feel like movies like Bob Marley, One Love, Bohemian Rhapsody, and I Wanted to Dance with Somebody, they're part of the joke and they don't understand that they are part of the joke. So I feel like this, is, this may be one of those movies that will probably be, like, criticized in the next few years where it's, like, maybe it's not entirely... I don't know what I don't know how accurate this movie is, so it's a little, uh... It's a little off, but, like, I definitely feel like it's just a little too generic to really stand out. It's, like, again, how come these one in a million talents who are unlike any other person out there get, like, these movies that are just so, you know, just so generic and just so by the numbers? It just doesn't really make sense. I'll give Bob Marley one love, two out of four stars, stream it. So, what's your favorite musician biopic or least favorites, or who would you like to see a, a biopic on? Uh, comment down below, subscribe to the channel. This is Pat. Stay safe.